it's Pequali here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you, finally, I've been waiting so long for to do this, a renovation to um, the Garden Legacy home. So we're doing um, a few rooms, not really entirely the whole house or anything really downstairs, um, just because I really wanted to dedicate um, the whole upgrade to the farm and the garden because that's when it needed the most. It needed a lot of like organization um, and you know, upstairs, I've been trying to have um, another bathroom since now like the household is getting bigger. Now that Willow is becoming a teenager and then Hazel, you know, is a child, like it's just, it's hard to have four Sims um, in one, like only one bathroom or like one bathroom with one shower. It's really hard. So uh, I definitely been trying to uh, renovate. So we're down to it now. Um, but I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited how the renovation turned out. And, you know, this isn't the final renovation, obviously. But um, with the Legacy Challenge, obviously, as time goes on, we will uh, grow more and expand more. But it definitely needed um, a nice renovation and upgrade. Uh, so I was trying to figure out the floor plan. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of space upstairs now. And I was trying to figure out. I didn't want to make the bathroom too big if it didn't need to. Like, I feel like the bathroom, bathroom can be big enough to have just like a shower. Um, or shower bath combo with a toilet and just a sink and you know a little decor but nothing nothing extra but you know I wanted to keep Rose's bathroom Rose and Christian's bathrooms the, the way it was because it's big that way we can add more to it maybe even get them like um, you know one of those like soaking tubs or whatever or you know whatever but I can upgrade more to the left which is uh, really good too um, I'm here creating Willow's room. Now this was really fun to make. I wanted to make sure again just like I was when I renovated her room becoming a child. Um, I didn't want to do too much yellow because there is like a yellow technically generation. Um, which I believe is like is it sunflower or something as, as the generations go on in the challenge. So it's literally just white. It's Dahlia. So it's white with a yellow accent. So I really wanted to incorporate that. And, you know, because Willow is going to be, or she is an outgoing Sim, and, you know, she has a lot of friends, and, uh, you know, she does really well in school because she is going to be a politician. Uh, she's a good Sim, so, you know, she wants to give back to the community and donate and stuff like that. So I really wanted to incorporate that into the room, too, especially with maybe her having a lot of friends. She has a lot of pictures. She has... Um, an organized desk with like a calendar, um, you know, post-it notes, you know, she's just very organized like that because I just feel like maybe even she has like a lot of activities she's, she does as a teenager or as time goes on, she will, um, you know, she just has like an agenda and she, you know, goes by that. And uh, she's got a lot of posters that she collects and maybe, you know, with her being very creative um, as a child too, you know, she like kind of creates things for her friends and you know, maybe they create stuff for her and, you know, they just make a lot of stuff. I don't know. And she just collects it as time goes on. And I still wanted to give it that country girly theme too. Um, you know, just adding some clutter in as well. But, you know, just giving it a little bit more character. Um, and I did give, uh, I did keep her, you know, giant, um, I forgot what her uh, cat stuffed animal, giant cat stuffed animal name was, but we kept him too, just to just to keep him because I don't think she would get rid of him at all. Um, and this is where we go into the bathroom, I believe. So I did upgrade and give them a shower bath combo. Um, you know, those just really come in handy, saving space and all. But uh, you know, they needed it. They really needed a nice shower. You know, just to kind of give them the best of both worlds, I guess. But, um, you know, the hallway to connecting it is kind of bare bones, but um, we'll add more as time goes on. I, like I said, I didn't want to spend too much money in the house just yet. I'm not ready yet. And I was thinking too, so obviously we're still working on Rose's generation, so we're not fully done with her. And Willow's generation, you know, is going to uh, start when she's a young adult, so we definitely have some time. And... I don't know what I want to do yet. I feel like maybe once we really get to Willow's generation as a young adult, we will start to 
incorporate throughout the entire house her colors you know because right now I'm keeping it red you know red accent colors and you know the dark wood I just really like that so we're keeping it that way just because we are still focusing on rose generation we're not fully done with uh with her tasks yet um but this is when we go into the garden which was a little tedious I was having a little bit of anxiety removing everything putting all the plants because it's such hard work that we've grew them and sprouted them and all of that and I had anxiety putting it into my family inventory because I'm like I don't want to lose the progress but it's okay like I just was like do it just do it <laughs> and I I did it I I was really dreading this part because I had no idea how I wanted to lay it out too and um and it's hard you know, well it's not hard but it's like a little annoying at the same time having seasons because you know obviously every plant that we have has its own season so it only sprouts in that season when it's not under shelter so you know we're gonna have empty spots because I'm like you know let's say mushrooms right like I'm gonna have a spot for mushrooms that are not sheltered but in the greenhouse I still want to grow mushrooms so we're gonna have two spots of everything if that makes sense um, but I did decide to get rid of the pots um, like the planter pots, whatever you want to call them, because I just feel like it wasn't realistic to me, you know, like maybe the planter pots, yeah, and the, and obviously the, um, the greenhouse makes sense, but when they're on land and they're literally on the grass, like they're on dirt, like they're touching the grass, I feel like it makes sense for them to touch it, like literally like grow from the root, grow from the ground, not from a planter plot planter pot on top of grass and then grow you know what I'm saying like it just I was like it looks more realistic this way and I wanted to try it out this way and then that way the uh garden signs the cc garden signs which is linked down in the the bio if you would like if you're interested in those so I worked and played with a few of the garden uh signs so the uh, and you'll see but the white ones you can size up and size down without it changing I guess the size and how much it impacts um, like the entire grid so like for example when I size up you'll see the brown ones near the big crops uh, it literally takes up that entire like it takes up four squares okay and then your sim can't tend to that that plant technically but the white ones you can do whatever you want but they still stay a, like a single tile so although I really like the dark wood uh, CC signs um, you know because they match the aesthetic of the entire build and you know like the dark wood theme uh, they just weren't working like they weren't um, they just weren't working without working out with the sims and working out with like Rose and Christian getting to them so I just stuck with the white ones it gives it a little it makes it stand out you know why not and you be able to kind of uh, defish like defer oh my god You'll be able to, like, figure out which plant is what. Um, but, yeah. So, I also uh, was playing testing here, too. Because I really want to get goats. Um, and now they don't need too much space. But I didn't want to just, you know, put them in, like, a fenced area and call it a day. Like, they do have their own shelter. Like, if it rains or something, you know, they could just go under it. So I just felt as though that was a lot more realistic and a lot better for them. Um, and I was trying to like, I think off camera, I was trying to figure out if I can use some debug items that had like a roofing over it too. But um, I don't know, it just wasn't working out. So I made their own little shelter. And if you know, if they go in it, they don't. But at the same time, I just feel like it's a lot more realistic. Uh, I did use some CC because I, you know, I'm not uploading this lot on the gallery. So um I mean, maybe in the future I will, but this is just kind of like for my own play and just wanted to add more realistic items because with the goats, you know what I mean? You can only um, like bottle feed them because um, I guess they're considered babies, but they don't become adults. I don't know. So I was trying to, again, make it a little bit more realistic uh, with like adding maybe like a little, you'll see me add like a CC bathtub um, with no water in it, but it's like an outdoor bathtub. And then, you know, like a little uh, water fountain area too. Um, you know, just to, again, make it realistic. Um, but the way I separated, you know, uh, I just wanted like the trees 
uh, versus like the flowers and then like the like the fruits and the vegetables I guess you can say and now um, you know that way as time goes on we'll just like add more and then it just looks a lot fuller because right now obviously you'll see it looks a little empty but it's because I need to harvest or um, in the next episode I'm going to harvest more and just uh, you know plant them so that way the garden looks really full and like really beautiful um, but that's another thing too with like the goats they apparently can like eat the little bugs so when you have bugs like going around your uh, crops and plants like I think they can just eat them which you know deters or stops time um what am i saying it stops like you know it saves time oh my gosh say it it saves time for your sims to like spray the plants because i feel like they take forever when they do that and especially when it's like all your plants that need to be sprayed it takes a long time and i did actually give the chickens an upgrade and when i tell you I was like play testing to make sure they were like functional and good. They were so happy. I've never seen a chicken run in The Sims 4. And whoever made that animation in The Sims, whoever created it is like, I don't know. You're a genius because it's so funny. It's so cute. And I was like, wow, like each chicken looks so happy running around. And I blocked off, you know, some of the, you know, some of the uh, fencing and everything just so they don't go to the other side of the um of the um plot of the oh my goodness of the land so they don't go to like when you're looking at the house and go all the way to the left side and kind of get lost and stuff so you do have to set your fences or your fence doors to uh, the gates oh my god i like don't know my words today but your gates you have to like set it so like you have to lock it for like a specific animal or whatever so they don't like escape or whatever but they just have a lot more space and they're able to get to the uh, garden because they can you know I think if you have really good relationship with them um, they can you know benefit um, you know you can get benefit your garden as well so uh, I was just adding some last minute things I know that ball is for horses but I don't know I just added it for the goats because like I don't know if they have an enrichment item but I feel like they need one so I just added that and just sized it down um, if you're wondering about the rocket ship so the rocket ship I was debating adding but honestly I think we need it like I wanted to use the five grand to buy our rocket ship and then it's basically like an investment because we have to upgrade it and you know get it to where we can go to space because in the garden legacy i realized last minute <laughs> that we need the ufo fruit thing because it's a it's a base game i don't know why i thought it was in get to work but it's not it's a base game plant it's considered a base game plant and uh the first generation rose needs to collect all the base game plants so we have to collect that um you know you know finish out that collection so i didn't realize that um but you know I tried even maybe buying rare plants, but they're a lot of money, and it's just like, I don't even know if it's worth it at that point, and, uh, yeah, so I just, um, I basically am, that's another, another, uh, project that Rose and Christian have to work on, and, you know, now that, uh, Willow is a teen, we can have her, you know, do that, and all, um, but we'll get there when we get there. We have to finish the literally the tree house and the rocket ship. But we'll get there. We'll get there. It's fine. And I added some like cow llama sheds too because uh, eventually we'll want cows and llamas. Not right away, but when we get there, we'll definitely want some. Um, but I'm expanding the garden house too just so we have a little bit more of everything. Like the death flower and the dragon fruit, not in season, but we need more of that because you make good money from that. So I definitely wanted to expand that as well. Have a little bit more single pots if we need it, like the trash plant. I don't really care. It can be in a single pot. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, just I didn't mess around too much with the greenhouse, but I just wanted to expand it a little bit more because it definitely needed it. For sure. The crops, the big crops, I did extend, like, I, I did another, I guess, um, like, another row of it. So, now we'll have three, like, a three across, I think, instead of two, I think I originally had. So, that gives us more big crops, which equals more money. Um, and, yeah, I wanted to keep the big crops there. I wanted to keep it separate. I just feel like it made more sense. 
Um, now in that little shed over there next to the goats, I was just adding random items. I think it would be cool if Rose and Christian, whether it's them or not, I don't know, in the long run, if we have a little like winery set up, uh, I think that'd be really cool. And they can just like make some nectar and then I guess you call it a winery or like a nectar, like the vines and everything have like nectar vines and all that. Um, maybe along the line grow, grow some and maybe sell some. Who knows? I mean, maybe when we get there, we get there. Or one of the sims down the line, um, you know, we'll do that. But we're coming to the screenshots now. Um, I was messing with the terrain paint too, if you noticed that from the previous. I decided to go with like a dirt. It looks a little like not like unfinished, but you know, we'll, we'll add to it as time goes on. Um, but yeah. So, um you know everything listen now as you can see the the signs too like they they're a little bit more bolder so they they look a lot better and you could like um see which plant is which it just makes life so much easier especially when you have like a huge garden like that um but you see like the brown signs too they look good over there and they work so i just figured i'd keep them but um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy the screenshots. Um, the next episode will be uploaded um, probably following this. So definitely check that out. But I'm going to skedaddle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.